Welcome back to The Fame, your go-to channel for the latest and greatest in reality TV news. Today, we have some major updates that will leave you glued to your screens. First up, we're diving into the emotional and heartfelt journey of Whitney Way Thor from My Big Fat Fabulous Life. In an exclusive interview with E! News, Whitney opened up about her fears and acceptance of a future without kids. This revelation comes as she embraces her 40s, navigating through significant life changes and personal challenges. You won't want to miss this intimate look into Whitney's life. Next, we have some jaw-dropping updates from Season 12 of My Big Fat Fabulous Life. Whitney Way Thor is welcoming a new baby. Yes, you heard that right. So, did she manage to find love and get pregnant while the show was on hiatus? Stay tuned to find out all the details about this surprising development. We're also diving into some heartfelt confessions from Whitney Way Thor. The star of My Big Fat Fabulous Life recently opened up about her lingering feelings for her ex-boyfriend, known only as the Frenchman, and shared her thoughts on motherhood. This is a side of Whitney you haven't seen before. In another emotional and heart-wrenching story, Whitney Thor recently opened up about the extreme online bullying and harassment she has faced, which pushed her to the brink. Stay tuned as we dive into her powerful and candid revelations about this tough experience. We're bringing you an exclusive interview with Whitney Way Thor. Known for being an advocate for body positivity and an inspiration to many, Whitney recently shared her thoughts on her weight loss journey and the popular weight loss medication, Ozempic. Hear her honest and unfiltered take on this hot topic. Finally, we're diving into a heartfelt and emotional revelation from Whitney Thor. As she prepares for the premiere of season 12, Whitney has opened up about the relentless online bullying and hate messages she's faced over the years. Get ready to hear her powerful story and how she's handling this intense scrutiny. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Let's get into it. Today, we're diving into the emotional and heartfelt journey of Whitney Way Thor from My Big Fat Fabulous Life. In an exclusive interview with E! News, Whitney opened up about her fears and acceptance of a future without kids. This revelation comes as she embraces her 40s, navigating through significant life changes and personal challenges. Stay tuned as we unpack Whitney's candid thoughts on family, loneliness, and finding happiness despite the odds. Whitney Way Thor, the star of TLC's My Big Fat Fabulous Life, is known for her vibrant personality and unyielding spirit. However, as she turned 40, Whitney shared that starting her own family feels increasingly unlikely, describing it as scary. Despite her milestone birthday being a time of celebration, Whitney admits she didn't expect to feel so strongly about reaching this age until her show's producers suggested it. Reflecting on her new decade, Whitney confessed, I was like, who cares, turning 40, whatever. Then I turned 40 and I was like, oh my god, 40, for women, there are stark implications that I don't think men go through. The reality star expressed her deep desire for companionship and a child to share her fabulous life with. I'm feeling real feelings about being 40, unmarried, and no kids, Whitney explained. The recent loss of her mother, Barbara Babs Thor, and the aging of her father, Glenn Thor, has only intensified these feelings of loneliness. With her closest friends partnered up, Whitney feels the solitude even more acutely. Despite ending her relationship with her mystery French boyfriend, Whitney has been open to new dating opportunities. I've been trying to be less isolated, do things that I enjoy, and put myself in situations where I might meet someone one, she said. However, finding a partner in Greensboro has proven to be challenging. In the upcoming 12th season of her TLC series premiering on July 9th, Whitney shares a visit to the fertility doctor, where she received some encouraging news about her options for IVF. If I want to do IVF, I've got a few more years, she recounted. Yet, Whitney is clear that she wants a partner to share the journey of parenthood. I know I could do it by myself, but I wouldn't honestly. I don't have the confidence to go in knowing I'm going to be single. As Whitney faces the reality that she may not meet the right man in time to have a baby, she is trying to come to terms with this possibility. It's scary, it really is. I'm just trying to assume it won't happen, so that I can come to terms with that. And then if it does, it'll be a nice surprise. Whitney highlights how deeply ingrained the desire for children can be for women. Even if you weren't sure you wanted kids, you mourn the fact that it's never going to happen, she explained. She frequently finds herself grappling with the realization that she might 
might never have grandchildren, leading to questions about the future and her life's purpose. Despite these challenges, Whitney remains determined to find joy and happiness. She has recommitted to activities she loves, such as dancing and attending social events, reasoning, what's the alternative, am I going to rot for the next 40 years, I've got to find some happiness. Whitney's strength is also tested by the negative attention she receives. From vandalism to online hate, she has faced a barrage of cruel comments, especially after her mother's death. Despite the hurtful remarks, Whitney continues to advocate against cyberbullying and emphasizes the importance of treating people with kindness, both online and offline. Whitney Way Thor's journey is a testament to resilience and the pursuit of happiness despite life's uncertainties. As she navigates her 40s, Whitney's story inspires us to embrace our own paths, find joy in the present, and hold on to hope for the future. Next, we have some jaw-dropping updates from Season 12 of My Big Fat Fabulous Life. Whitney Way Thor is welcoming a new baby, yes, you heard that right. So, did she manage to find love and get pregnant while the show was on hiatus? Last season, Whitney Way Thor faced a whirlwind of emotions and challenges. She tragically lost her beloved mother, Babs, and had to navigate life without her love and guidance. At the same time, Whitney was determined to help her father, Glenn, find happiness again. In a surprising twist, Glenn discovered he had a daughter, Angie, who had been put up for adoption. This revelation brought the family closer together, giving Glenn the joy of connecting with his newfound grandchildren, which helped to heal his grieving heart. In a sneak peek for season 12, Whitney invites her friends, brother, and Glenn to her home for what seems to be a baby shower. Dressed in pink and cradling her belly, Whitney teases everyone with the promise of introducing someone new. Naturally, her loved ones are baffled and excited, wondering if Whitney has been hiding a pregnancy all this time. But the real shock comes when Whitney finally reveals the truth. The baby shower isn't for her, it's for her ex-boyfriend, Lenny Alehat, and his girlfriend of over a year, Allison, who have just welcomed a baby. Whitney has never met Allison or the baby, yet she graciously hosts this shower, leaving everyone, including the guests, stunned. The moment Lenny walks in with his baby girl, jaws drop, and the clip ends, sparking a frenzy among fans. Unsurprisingly, my big fat fabulous life fans had a lot to say about this unexpected turn of events. Many were left bewildered by Whitney's decision to throw a baby shower for her ex. Wait, she threw a baby shower for her ex-man and his girl? What is her obsession with her exes? She made a baby shower for her ex and his girlfriend. Am I getting this right or? Despite the confusion, some fans expressed admiration for Whitney's kind-hearted nature and hoped she would eventually find her own happily ever after. This season promises to be filled with excitement, surprises, and heartfelt moments. Are you shocked by Whitney's gesture for Lenny and Allison, or do you think it just shows how big her heart is? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below, and don't miss the season 12 premiere of My Big Fat Fabulous Life on Tuesday, July 9th, on TLC. Next, we're diving into some heartfelt confessions from Whitney Way Thor, the star of My Big Fat Fabulous Life. Whitney recently opened up about her lingering feelings for her ex-boyfriend, known only as the Frenchman, and shared her thoughts on motherhood. In a candid interview with E.T.'s Deidre Behar, Whitney Way Thor revealed that she's still in love with her ex-boyfriend, the mysterious Frenchman. Despite their breakup over a year ago, Whitney shared, I'm still in love with him. We actually broke up in April a year ago. He's the best. He's the best man I've ever known. So, what led to their split? Whitney explained that the pressures of reality TV TV played a significant role. Unfortunately, this is one of these things that comes with reality TV, which is, I'd say, one of the negatives. He does not want a public life at all, she said. The Frenchman struggled with the public scrutiny and online speculation, ultimately deciding that a life in the spotlight wasn't for him. Now Whitney is cautiously re-entering the dating scene, although she's finding it challenging. I haven't been out and about much. The dating sites are pretty abysmal in Greensboro, especially when you have this other person, this other relationship that you love so much, it's really hard to get excited about dating," she admitted. Despite these hurdles, Whitney remains hopeful and open to finding love again. As Whitney reflects on her journey, she also touched on a significant topic, motherhood. She confessed that she's examining my fertility and coming to terms with the possibility of not having children. If I don't have a partner, then I don't want a child, Whitney stated. She emphasized that while many women choose to become single mothers, it's not something she feels confident in pursuing.
Whitney's 40th birthday in April brought about a midlife crisis, making her reflect deeply on her life and future. I turned 40 and I cared a lot. It hit me like a ton of bricks, she said. She feels the weight of societal expectations and personal desires, making this a challenging period of self-discovery. Looking ahead, Whitney's priorities are clear. Finding a loving partner, cherishing her family, and rediscovering her joy for life. She shared the importance of spending quality time with her father and family, especially after the loss of her mother, Barbara Babs Thor, in December 2022. Whitney Way Thor's journey is a powerful reminder of the complexities of love, life, and self-discovery. We're rooting for her as she navigates these challenges and pursues happiness. What are your thoughts on Whitney's revelations? Next, we have an emotional and heart-wrenching story about Whitney Way Thor from My Big Fat Fabulous Life. Whitney recently opened up about the extreme online bullying and harassment she has faced, which pushed her to the brink. Stay tuned as we dive into her powerful and candid revelations. Whitney Way Thor, the beloved star of My Big Fat Fabulous Life, has always been open about her struggles, but her recent admissions are both shocking and heartbreaking. In an exclusive interview with People, Whitney revealed that she was traumatized and almost suicidal due to relentless online bullying and harassment. As the season 12 premiere approaches, Whitney shared her experience of grappling with suicidal thoughts just a few months ago. The hate she received escalated to death threats, particularly after the devastating loss of her mother, Barbara Babs Thor, who passed away on December 7, 2022. Whitney described the comments about her late mother as the most horrific she's ever encountered, pushing her to a breaking point. But the online abuse didn't stop there. In season 12, Whitney faced terrifying harassment when someone trespassed onto her property, throwing eggs at her house and leaving hate mail on her doorstep. It's terrifying, Whitney admits. Nobody should ever just accept accept or know that strangers are going to come to your house. Despite these traumatic experiences, Whitney continues to show incredible strength. She acknowledges the emotional toll of being in the public eye and the damaging impact of harsh words. When I say that I was almost suicidal, I mean that 100%. I think I'm a pretty strong person and that just shows you how much words really impact people she confesses. Whitney, who has been filming MBFFL for nearly 10 years, reflects on the warnings she received early on about how reality TV could ruin her life. She admits that the damage has been significant but still wouldn't take back her decision to be on the show. Even through all the horrible things that I feel, even when I was almost suicidal a few months ago, I still wouldn't take it back, she says. There's been too much good. To protect her mental health, Whitney is now limiting her social media use and focusing on staying grounded in her real life, she finds support from her father, Glenn Thor, her brother Hunter, and close friends. I'm generally doing a lot better, but it just doesn't go away, she explains. It still makes me very emotional, but I'm feeling good. It's good to remember. I don't always, though. I'm very thankful. Whitney Way Thor's courage to speak out about her struggles is truly inspiring and highlights the serious impact of online bullying. Let's all remember the power of our words and the importance of kindness. If you or someone you know is struggling, please reach out for help. Next, we're diving into an exclusive interview with Whitney Way Thor from My Big Fat Fabulous Life. Whitney, who has been an advocate for body positivity and an inspiration for many, recently shared her thoughts on her weight loss journey and the popular weight loss medication, Ozempic. Whitney Way Thor has recently made headlines for her impressive 100-pound weight loss. Despite her progress, she remains uncertain about using Ozempic in the future. In an exclusive interview with Us Weekly on July 2nd, Thor, 40, opened up about her perspective on the medication. I'm not saying that I wouldn't necessarily, I don't know, she admitted. It's not something that I've really thought about or have felt like the medical need for, but it's not something that I would say I would never do. Ozempic and other semaglutides are often prescribed to manage conditions like high blood pressure and type 2 diabetes, and some celebrities have used them for quick weight loss. However, doctors caution against using these medications casually. Given her public weight loss journey, Thor has faced numerous questions about whether Ozempic played a role in her transformation. With the Ozempic craze and everything like that, I got questioned a lot, Thor shared. Simultaneously, people are insisting I must have had weight loss surgery, and others are saying, she hasn't lost a pound. 
Thor highlighted the complexity of the Ozempic debate within the body-positive community. I think people have the right to do whatever they want to do with their own bodies, she said. As a fat person who's been fat my entire adult life, I would never shame or criticize another fat person for choosing to do something that makes their life easier. As of February, Thor has lost 100 pounds, a significant achievement she attributes to various factors over the years. 50 pounds I lost years ago, and then I lost another 50 pounds after my mother died. So to me, it's not a huge change, she explained. Thor pointed out the inconsistency in how people perceive her weight. I could post something today and half the comments would say, oh my gosh, you're skinny. You're literally skinny now, even though I'm almost 300 pounds, she noted. And then the other half of the comments would say, oh my gosh, she's as big as she's ever been. Currently, Thor is not actively trying to lose weight. She weighs herself daily to track her polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS symptoms. I've just now started started getting a cycle, she revealed. I just recently went up 10 pounds, and then I got my period the next day, and it was all gone the next day. I kind of track based on that. It's just a habit, really. And it's not for any reason. It doesn't make me feel any kind of way. Whitney Way Thor will continue sharing her wellness journey in season 12 of My Big Fat Fabulous Life, premiering later this month. Despite the challenges and online harassment, Thor remains committed to the positive impact her show has had. I know that My Big Fat Fabulous Life has changed people's lives all over the world, and it's a gift to people, she stated. I love this show, what it's done for people, what it's done for body positivity, and the way that I've seen the world change over the past 10 years is incredible. So even though it's really difficult, I would not change it. Finally, we're diving into a heartfelt and emotional revelation from Whitney Thor of My Big Fat Fabulous Life. As she prepares for the premiere of season 12, Whitney has opened up about the relentless online bullying and hate messages she's faced over the years. Get ready to hear her powerful story and how she's handling this intense scrutiny. Whitney Thor, the star of TLC's My Big Fat Fabulous Life, has been a prominent figure in reality TV for nearly a decade. With her candid and inspirational journey, she has gained a large following, but unfortunately, she's also been subjected to vicious online bullying. In a recent interview with Parade on July 2nd, Whitney shared a deeply vulnerable confession about the extent of the hate she endures daily. Whitney, who hails from Greensboro, Alabama, has been candid about her struggles with body shaming and personal attacks. However, as she gears up for season 12 of her hit show, premiering on July 9th, she revealed that the level of hate has reached new heights. This has been part of my life always for the last 10 years, she said, explaining that the criticism has only intensified. The comments and messages Whitney receives go far beyond simple insults. I don't mean people telling me, you're fat, you're ugly, I don't like your hair. I mean people telling me that I deserve to die. I mean cops showing up at my door. I mean death threats. I mean hit lists. I mean insanity, she revealed. The severity of these attacks has made it nearly impossible for Whitney to get used to it or to deal with the endless barrage of negativity. One of the most shocking aspects for Whitney has been the cruel remarks directed at her late mother, Barbara Babs Thor, who passed away in December 2022. Knowing that people were using my mother to talk s to me, my dead mother. That's hard, Whitney shared. Anytime anybody sees something online of mine that they don't like, they comment and say, what would your mother think about this? You know, stuff like that. That actually shocks me because I know people are terrible. But that was really, really, really hard for me. Whitney Thor's bravery in speaking out about the hate she faces is truly inspiring. Her strength and resilience in the face of such adversity remind us all of the importance of kindness and empathy. As we look forward to season 12 of My Big Fat Fabulous Life, let's stand with Whitney and spread positivity and support. Don't forget to tune in to the new season on July 9th and stay connected with the fame for all the latest updates on your favorite stars. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more exclusive content. See you next time.